its third straight day of zero COVID cases. It follows 40 consecutive days of no new COVID cases. If we're getting no community transmissions, then there really is no need to be wearing the masks on a full-time basis. Today, overall, another 510 cases. That's 1,993. The new record, 1,542 cases. 213 new cases. <laughs> will not have the freedom or the freedoms that vaccinated people have even when we get to 80% double dose. Now hold your jocks for a moment. How in the world do we even get it? Let's go back a couple months. Despite other variants popping up, we've had zero cases of it. And also the lowest vaccine rate. But nah, mate, we will be fine as long as we properly quarantine people who visit our country. We should be fine. Oh, well, shit. That brings us to June 11th, 2021. A limo driver who tested positive had waltz from cafe to a restaurant and of course, Westfield. Absolute disaster. People started panicking in the east, as the man was immediately put to quarantine, but it was already too late. So let's get a bit of background info on the variant. Research has shown that the Delta virus is up to 50% more infectious than the original Wuhan virus, meaning it will spread like wildfire if proper precautions are not taken. What was our government's response? Eh, don't worry about it. Just social distance and put on that face condom. Fast forward a couple weeks, cases started popping up all over Sydney. Cases went from 3 to 10 to 30 until finally, on June 26, Gladys marks the first phase of a dictatorship. New South Wales entered its second lockdown in a desperate attempt to keep the virus contained in New South Wales and fuck. By the time he tested positive, it was already too late. Darwin for the first time entered its first lockdown and one by one, each state followed. First time. Case numbers are still rapidly rising and we all know what time 11am meant for us. Good morning, everybody. 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 Good morning, uh, everybody. So the circus begins. First off, many businesses were shut down except for essential services, which apparently are jewellery stores. What? While this was happening, Melbourne entered its 50th lockdown again. Due to a tree of removalists from Sydney, the Premier of Victoria, Daniel Andrews, was not happy. We need a ring of steel around Sydney so that this virus is not spreading into other parts of our nation. Case numbers still rising? Let's just extend the lockdown again. Now this is where things get a bit jabby. Get it because you know, get vaccinated? No? Okay. The New South Wales government launched a massive campaign for everyone to get vaccinated. Bookings filling up fast. And in fact, we got an emotional interview from some COVID patients themselves. I mean, he looks pretty healthy with someone with COVID. It's almost as if he doesn't have it. Soon people on TikTok discovered that all of these patients were in fact actors, with some dude even calling the hospital to find out no such patient even existed. Media Watch pretty much mocked these accusations, but you're free to believe what you want. The only factual thing is that the acting is just as horrendous as those step bro scenes. Good morning, everybody. At this point, other states had completely shut their borders entirely. Gladys continues to be an NPC. Please, 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 please. And our health minister, Brad Hazard, continues to throw his tab of tantrums. I'd just like to ask one question to Dr. Chand before our time expires. Well, that's the answer to my question. And the question and... is out of order and wrong. <laughs> So, Again. so could I perhaps clarify? And a waste of time. Workers in hotspot areas are now required to get tested every three days, with police enforcing the mandatory mask policy on every citizen possible, handing out fines left and right. I mean, even my man Tony Abbott got fined. So I never thought that dobbing and snitching was part of the Australian character. Now I'm just going to summarise the next two months. Get jabbed, dictatorship continues, people angry and protest. Covid cases go up, lockdown extended. Oh right, I forgot to mention that Gladys stopped completely doing those daily conferences. This comment sums it up perfectly. October 1st, our Queen Gladys suddenly announced her resignation. After an investigation launched by the ISAC, everyone across Sydney was devastated. But one question still remains, who is going to be the new Premier? Meet the stud himself, Dominic Perrottet. He does have a questionable past, but We've done it in Australia. 70% of our population is fully vaccinated. Grab a cold, mate. We've done it. As long as we're cautious. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Yeah, now we're in this shitstorm of Omicron. Look, I've already paraphrased a lot since I don't want this video to be over an hour. And I think this Omicron situation we're in is far from over, so I might make a part two to this video. Anyways, stay safe, stay home. Bye bye. Oh, it's late at night and I'm recording this. Uh, I could have put this out a lot sooner. I guess bad habits carried into this new year, but at least it's done and done and over with. Uh, I don't think more than 100 people are going to watch it anyways, but hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.